I'm a first year PhD student at the Department of Physical Geography and Geoinformatics at the University of Debrecen, Hungary. My field of research is a morphological investigation of flat and hill areas in Hungary. Uh, within this frame of my research, I uh, examine the quality um, accuracy of the different types of databases and this conference gave me a good idea for studying a new approach. So the subject of my presentation is a comparison of spatial interpolation methods from this type of theoretical accuracy based on a Hungarian sample area. At the present time, a substantial number of open and non-open source softwares and built-in interpolation methods are available, although their reliability can be relatively different. Our goal is to determine the vertical accuracy of the two types of interpolation techniques um, prepared in Hydrodesta 1.4 and in SVRGIS 9.3. As leader database was only available from this part of the region, we investigated a study site near Hortobad, located in an approximately 5,500 square meter large area, where the vertical distance between the deepest and the highest point is 1.244 meter. To illustrate this very low value of vertical distance, let's have a look at this 3D figure. You can see diversification only at the line of the trench. The dark brown area is not the part of our examination area. To perform such an evaluation, a high precise laser beam based total station and a differential GPS was applied. Elevation was validated by one point of the integrated national elevation base network. Altogether, 578 points were surveyed in such a way to represent the smallest distances in the terrain relief as well. As you can see on the slide, the data sampling density was 0.1 point per square meter and the regular spacing between the observations was 3.5 meter. Based on the observed data, the following geostatistical and deterministic methods were used for interpolation of point height data in both softwares, the inverse distance rating and the ordinary cleaning. Parameters were matched to each other in both softwares, However, only from the user's point of view. Due to the mapping those uh, grid analysis tools, we were able to convert the PGD5 format uh, into GeoTIFF, and uh, then we were able to open in ArcMap, where, with the help of the pixel value to point script, uh, we were um, can we were able to examine the highs in the case of each point of the right surfaces. Um, the, main, the main statistical parameters are shown on the diagram. The resolution of leader surface based on airborne laser scanner is half a meter and we selected this database as a reference system by which the accuracies of uh, derived surfaces uh, were evaluated and the way of root mean square error. The root mean square error was calculated by the formula in the diagram where estimated high from the derived in selected derived interpolated surfaces uh, was compared at each point to leader surface to leader height. According to a previous study, a uh, leader surface has been augmented with 16 centimeters and uh, then we calculated with this value. You can see the results on this table where the value of RMS is very small. Interpolation by EDV in ArcMap has the lowest value of RMS, however, in this software, cleaning interpolation represents the most unfavorable value as well. 
The results in the case of interpolation by hydrodesktop do not show substantial differences. The next slide represents the linear regression between the same interpolation methods prepared in both softwares as well. According to these figures, significant spreading can be observed at points with lower elevation. Meanwhile, at higher level, points are largely fitted to the regression line. The box plot diagrams also represent the same trends in elevation data. Points at lower elevation um, show greater dispersion regarding the semi quartile range than points at higher elevation. The reason for this phenomenon can be associated with the trench line, which is the greatest uh, vertical distance uh, in the area and occur around the trench. As we can see on the maps, which represent the surfaces created by um, interpolation in uh, so created by uh, the subtraction of the cleaning interpolated surfaces from the real surface, um, the vertical, the high vertical uh, differences are displayed by diagram patterns in negative direction. However, on totally flat area, areas, both softwares and both interpolation methods are appropriate by means of representing the actual surface. On the slide, we can see in two points what inferences are drawn based on our investigation. There are only minor differences on flat areas uh, regarding the two um, softwares and the two interpolation methods. However, we experience greater spreading at the lower elevation, which is the effect of the depression caused by the trench. Well, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.